how do freelance web developers price their projects? Well, if you do my course, freelance course, I give you a whole bunch of, uh, I give you everything you need to know to be able to accurately price projects. But let me just give you uh, the, uh, the short version here for the vlog. When you're pricing projects in the freelance game, point number one, you can't just charge for the amount of time you spent coding. You also have to consider and charge for the time you take in terms of administrative tax task related to the particular job. That means how much time you spend on phone calls, how much with clients, how much time you spend um, meeting with clients to figure out requirements, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, so how much, you know, you may have to do a bunch of research for them to figure out, okay, this is your job. This is what you want to do. You may know right away that, okay, we're going to use Python Django. Oh, no, because of the particulars of this particular job, we're going to use Node.js and Express.js, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I'm assuming web stack here. So this time that you spend figuring out what it is the project's going to need, take that's part of the cost. So you got to factor that in. So it's not just coding time. This is something a lot of beginners don't consider. They just consider coding time. You have to consider all that other time as well that goes around uh, putting together a project. It's important. You you can you know you can't write code unless you figure out exactly what your people need, what your uh, client needs for the job. And another tip I'll give you is that um, you should develop good, a decent amount of skills in terms of being able to judge the price of a project. Because even though let's say you say I charge. 30 an hour, or 100 an hour, or 200 an hour, whatever you charge per hour, when you're dealing with small and medium-sized businesses, they will not be open-ended, meaning they're going to want a fixed price because they've got to control the amount of money they're spending, especially if you're working with them new. So they're going to want, you know, is this going to cost me 5000 It's cost me 2000 It cost me 500 It cost me 25000 What's this going to cost me? So you have to develop your ability to accurately cost out projects. And in my freelance course, links below, um, in my freelance course, I give you a time tracking project spreadsheet template where what I suggest you do is when you're first learning how to be a web developer, the first couple of free jobs that you do to, uh, to, to, you know, to develop some chops, build up your resume a little bit, I... Uh, provide this time tracking spreadsheet where I list all the things you should be tracking constantly. You should, when you do something, you should put it in. I started at this time. I ended at that time. This is how many hours it took. This way, you will develop the skill, the ability to be able to more accurately determine how long it will take to complete a particular type of project. So you sit down, you get the requirements from the client, and then you go, okay, boom, 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 this is going to probably take me 20 hours, or this is probably going to take me 50 hours, or it's probably going to take me 100 hours. That's one of the steps in becoming a web designer, web professional in general, is the ability, one of the steps for is you have to develop an ability to more accurately consider the cost of a project to be able to judge the cost of a project and you do that using the time tracker template as I, I mentioned before you do that a few times your brain is going to start being able to better assess what what takes how much time it takes to get something done all right i hope that answers the question bye bye